Hey, how you doing, everybody? My name is Purcell Pearson, a senior at the University of Wisconsin Whitewater, majoring in psychology. And today I'm here to talk to you all about racial bias in the news media and its impacts on African American male self image. In our current society, we often do not get the chance to interact with those outside of our community. And so we rely on news media to give us a lot of our ideals about people different from us. Prior research into news media, such as Ardent and Northrop 2015, have shown that news media can be racially biased in a select number of ways, including the context in which they describe offenders, as well as the overrepresentation of African American males as criminals. This is a problem because it impacts news viewer judgment as well as perpetuates the stereotypes of um, criminality in African American male population. As stated before, sometimes we do not get the chance to interact with those outside of our community. And so there can be a tendency to over rely on news media for our certain ideals about different communities. These ideals are such as the idea of the African American male criminal, as well as the white male authority figure or police officer. And now several researchers have done a lot of research into this topic. However, there's a tendency to discard the African American male population's data due to them being the targeted race. And so there's a idea that they will answer differently than the average news viewer. For my study, I plan to look directly at this data of the African American male through both a survey and a focus study in which there will be topics of racial bias and its impact on African American males daily lives. From this research, I hope to get a better understanding on the African American male population in both ways that they are um, addressing some of these ideals as well as the resiliency factors that can come out of this. Additionally, this understanding of the African American male psychology would be used to help news viewers inoculate themselves from different racial biases in the news media because the more we know about the stereotypes and the racial biases, the less of an effect they have on us. And now one major way that this data could be used in real world applications is through the interactions between African American males and police officers. In our current society, we see a heavy topic on the ideas of police brutality. And so we know police officers are also additional viewers of the news media. They are not exempt from some of the subconscious biases that come from news media. And so giving them a better understanding of the population in which they will work with in the future would create hopefully less negative interactions between these two populations and more positive interactions. Instead of being interactions of those between lawmakers and lawbreakers, we could hopefully change this into an interaction of people in which the situation and context matters. Thank you so much for listening to my ideas and my speech. I will take any questions now. Great, thank you, Purcell. No problem. Judges, any questions? Hey, I yeah, I have a question. It's it's a great, it's an interesting project and then you, you articulated it well. Uh, I, I'm curious how the current crisis has informed, if it has, and how it's informed how you plan to move forward with your project. How has it changed what you plan to do if it has? Great question. So I actually have started my research before um, this current crisis and uh, police brutality. And so originally I got the idea through some of the changes in my own behavior. So if I was driving a car, I would take down my hood to look uh, less threatening. I might go into a store and remove my do-rag, which is a uh, head wrap that helps me with my hair. Um, and so that's where I was originally coming from. However, I've started to see the more broad scale applications as I've started to see more of the situation around the world. Uh, we started to notice that even outside of the United States, they have started to address police brutality against African-American males and the African-American community as a whole. And so I think that it just helps me to broaden my horizons and understand that I don't have to only limit this to African-Americans and I can also broaden this to um, people of color all around the world. Um, for, your, um, for your survey, where will, you, um, where will you go to look for the subjects of your survey? How will you find those people? So great question. The survey actually is going to be a Qualtrics survey. Um, I'm gonna push it through means of my school as well as through social media. And the original survey is going to consist of male participants of any demographic, any race. And so we can address some of the ideas and topics that any race may see in the news media. For example, an African-American male may not see the same stereotypes as a white male. And 
So I will just push it through social media and things of that nature. Um, try to create incentives, maybe a, a paid pro incentive and things of that nature. 